This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in person, Ramez, my brother, the math magician. How are you, my man? I'm good, thank you. It's good to see you doing well after doing your, doing your A-levels and whatnot during the lockdown. So yeah, good to meet you in person, man. My brother, it's been well overdue. Um, let's speak a little bit about yourself. What is going on? Obviously, we know that sort of post-COVID, it was a bit of a nightmare for everyone, um, yourself included. Um, but I imagine you just want to tick, stay fresh as much as possible. And what is next for yourself? That's exactly it. I mean, I was out for a long time during COVID and um, changed my training setup during that time. So I'm now training at the Ben Davidson Performance Centre with Barry Smith and Ben Davidson, getting some good sparring down there. And I should be out in November. My fight date will be coming next week. And I just want to be busy and then hopefully get on another title fight as quick as possible. Speak about being in that Ben Davison gym. We know just the raw amount of talent surrounding people in that gym. How important is it for yourself to be around those type of guys, knowing that look, these are the guys. I suppose I spoke to Royston Barney Smith, who's like you know he's at the bottom of the chain, but then you've got the guys at the top of the chain like Lee Wood, Josh Taylor. Um, how important is it being in that environment where everyone can sort of bounce off each other and you can take ideas off everyone? Yeah, it's unbelievable because you sort of raise your game to, to be to that level. I mean, you see Lee Wood and Josh Taylor and all them boys and you raise your game up. When Lee Wood come down to the gym, he hadn't even won a British title. And since then, I've just watched him go levels with winning the British title, then the world title, then the condom fight. So, so yeah, the sparring and everything is just great. Is that something that inspires yourself as well? Like you say, you know, he, he didn't even have the British when you first saw him in that gym. And now he's got the world title. We, you know, we look at now he might be fighting Santa Cruz. And you're seeing these guys with those stories in your gym. I suppose that's more inspiration for yourself as well. It is, because especially with someone like Lee Woods, where he hadn't been given anything. He had to come with the small halls. He had to do it, take a few losses and he had to take his lumps and bumps. Um, at, at the age of that 31 or 32, he got the British title. And since then, he's been riding the wave, but he had to overcome the setbacks to get that. And with me, I've not really been given much either. So I've come up with the small hall and now I look to him and be like, if he can do it, I can do it sort of thing. How frustrating is it for yourself with, I speak to so many people and it's like sort of, not the lack of opportunities as such, but when you're on the small hall circuit, sometimes things don't go up. If they do, they can be dropped and then you never hear back. Um, how do you sort of maintain that motivation? Because I know it can get hard at times. It is hard at times, especially where I wake up at like 5 a.m. and I've got to go work because I kind of be asked to run, but it's just the dream keeps pushing you. And as you say about opportunities, you're just always looking at what's about going on at your weight and just hope that the opportunity will come. I've got to ask you, because it is a very unique story, and I suppose first how we sort of touch paths, you are a maths teacher, that is your profession. How do you balance that with boxing? Like you say, getting up at 5am, you can't be asked always to go on them runs, but you get them done. Um, I suppose no no kid in your class is fucking about in their maths lesson. <laughs> Most of them are good kids, but yeah, it is hard. But I made myself a good routine, and I made it work for all these years. So... <laughs> That's children celebrating, done well. Um, but yeah, I've, set, I've got my routine set up. So I train in the morning, go work, any marking I'll do on the weekend and then train in the evening after work. Is that intense? I imagine times that you're just, like you say, I mean the 5 a.m. but then you're doing before work, after work. Any downtime for yourself? Honestly, not really. I get, I get Sundays where I have my day off and I chill out on Sundays, but then there might be the odd time where I'm planning or I'm marking. But I love it really. Like Even on the days I'm chilling, I'm watching boxing. I just love it. Just for yourself and I suppose for the classes and the lessons that you teach, um, is it weird? Because I can't, I, I look back at some of my lessons back in school in maths and sort of, I can't ever imagine my teacher being a professional athlete, let alone, you know, being a professional boxer, one of the hardest sports there is. Um, does it baffle some of your students when you tell them? I imagine a lot of them know now, but when you've got a new student in or maybe a new year group or something, letting them know, is that a bit of a weird one for them to take? It is weird, and I don't really tell them a lot, to be honest, anyway, but they Google me, they YouTube me, they'll find me, and then they'll watch all my stuff. They'll sit there for hours, right, watching my interviews and not do their homework because of that. And when they come and tell me, oh, I haven't done my homework, I was watching you for hours, what do I say to her? Can I give her detention for that? <laughs> but no, it's, good. it's a good laugh, though. Just a final message to the people watching sell yourself your story and what we can expect from yourself in the future yeah I mean um, just expect a, lo a lot of good fights um, I'm looking to, looking to hopefully win the next year a British Commonwealth title fight at Bantamweight I mean I know my, currently my stable mate Lee McGregor holds that and he's down to box Sean McGoldrick but hey if that doesn't happen I'll, I'll happily fight Sean McGoldrick for those British and Commonwealth titles so I just want more titles man I just want good fights Ramon's top man thank you for speaking to me at Boxing Social thank you very much